Jose Feliciano. He was a bit of a wild animal. He's not only an impeccable singer, but a supreme guitar player. He was 17 years old, I think, at the time. Came over to the stage, and I suddenly realized he's blind. Started learning guitar at the age of nine. It was like meeting the woman of your dreams. I was young, slim, and handsome. And I know that since I couldn't see myself, I wouldn't be wrong. Yes, nicknamed the Ten-Fingered Wizard, he sold over 11 million records and won eight Grammys in a career spanning nearly 50 years. Here was a guy with a name similar to mine, a Hispanic name. He brought a sound that was totally different because he brought the blues and the jazz and the Latino. When he took that song, he was able to introduce it to 500 million people that didn't know the doors. Please rise and join in the singing of our national anthem, which will be sung by Jose Feliciano. Some people were very offended. Half of the stadium were throwing cans at him. Radio play disappeared. They want to deport him. I wasn't out to defame the country that has given me the opportunity to be successful. I wrote it a little bit out of loneliness, and I see it now, and I laugh. He could have spent his life selling pencils, but instead he worked 8, 10, 12 hours a day practicing his guitar. I've seen Jose move a crowd in Portugal, and Australia, London, Canada, and Buenos Aires. He has the gift of being multidimensional, clarity like water, you know, tequila, whiskey, bourbon, and then there's water. You know, Jose is water. I say, boy, Jose, man, you've come a long way. 